which on a funny note, on top of everything that happened last week on our way home, there were <clears throat> three deer in the left lane in the road and one deer to the right. And as I avoided the three on the left, I nearly hit the one on the right. But luckily I avoided them all, so it worked out. <laughs> Today I want to try to soften up my front shock, so I'll go two clicks to try to see if that'll reduce the, uh, the inside ski lift. Try it out, see how it goes. I have no idea whether a stiffer ski or a stiffer shock is going to make it like pogo off of itself when I'm turning, or if a, uh, a softer shock will make it lean into it more, but we're just going to mess with it and see what we can do, because I love these skis, but the ski lift isn't my favorite. All right, so the main topic of this video is going to be about these CNA Pro skis I put on my assault. Um, I said from the moment that I got it, I wasn't a fan of the Pro Steer skis. They just really weren't good at anything, and they didn't like they weren't wider, so they didn't give good off-trail performance, and they weren't very aggressive, so they just didn't turn great. I know that there's were some ways to address that with shims and whatnot, but. Um, I didn't see the point in uh, bothering. I knew that I had wanted to try CNAs for a while, and period, I just was ready to put a different ski on it by the end of last year. Uh, so I went with CNA Pro Razors. If I had it to do over again, I would probably go with like the XCS, just a little bit of a wider ski. Um, I went with the Razor because I heard it was a little bit more aggressive in terms of trail performance, and it's definitely aggressive and accomplishes what I wanted to accomplish. Um, but if I could have had the extra width, I think that would have been advantageous in quite a few different ways. Number one, obviously it would give it a little bit more flotation off trail, but uh, number two, I think being a little bit wider would help the sled in general, ski-wise, uh, because The Assaults have a more narrow front end than the Pro S and the Pro X. And it's not adjustable, so already at a little bit of a disadvantage turning-wise. Plus you have the way longer track, and uh, it kind of just makes it more tippy. the big gripes everybody always has with the CNAs is the uh, amount of input you have to put in to turn them. A lot of people complain of like arm pump and just our arms getting tired in general. I do not sound like a tool, but I do go to the gym like five to six times a week. So I'm not necessarily the normal rider that might not, you know, might have a little less strength in their upper body. I'm not saying I'm like a bodybuilder or something, but just in general, my, I'm a little less apt to get tired. So I've never noticed that they're um, hard to turn, really. They are, in general, a little bit more like point and shoot. They do bite and then go that direction, but I, I don't find them hard to turn, so that's not a worry that I have. They essentially accomplished exactly what I wanted. I wanted a wicked direct turning. I wanted the sled to go exactly where I wanted it. Because I think, you know, when you're trail riding a crossover sled, you obviously are at a disadvantage with the longer track, somewhat. I would say the assault, it's minimal. But, um, so in general, you're trying to overcome the longer All right, what's up, Rap Gang? So, as you just saw, I had a little bit of an issue with the mic again on our last ride. Um, 
Unfortunately, I've just had really bad luck with it lately. And as I turned my head, I had the cord a little too tight and it just yanked right out of the microphone. So I'm gonna have to do a little voiceover again. It only affected a little bit of the footage. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duct tape or electrical tape, I'm not sure yet, the microphone cord to the mic so that now on I won't have an issue with it. Um, hopefully that'll minimize our problems. If not, I'll have to look into it a little bit more, but we'll see what happens. I appreciate your guys' patience with this. I've just had so many issues the last couple rides, um, but I wanna still get the content out for you guys and I still wanna talk about these skis and what I think of them and what could make your assault handle a little bit better if you're having issues. So I will jump back into the footage and thanks for watching. So what I had been saying is in general you're trying to overcome the length of the crossover with the skis and some people like to do that with carbides, other people like to do that with the skis themselves and I think the Razor really did do that. Um, like I said earlier, my only gripes, I just wish they were a little wider because of the narrower front end. So I noticed that by softening my suspension, it actually did end up helping the sled handle a little bit better. Um, I didn't really like the bump performance, which I say a little bit later on, not that you guys can hear it. Um, I, it just kind of, the front end sank a little bit too much in all the bumps, so... As time went on, I decided to adjust them and move them up two clicks from the middle setting that they come on from the factory. So I went two down originally, and then I went two back up to the middle, and then two above that. So I immediately noticed how much more stiff the front end was, and I could definitely tell that that had to do with the inside ski lift because it definitely came back. So in my opinion, the best solution if you're running a, a pretty aggressive ski on your assault and you're having some inside ski lift, turn the clickers down a couple notches on smooth trails if possible um, and you'll get the best turning performance then like as you can see on this day we were more on long straight bumpy trails so it made more sense to keep them turned up to two clicks and just get the big bump performance. It was a little too stiff in the end, to be honest. I think I might turn them back down one click for um, for more of the big bump performance. Uh, and then when I want the lack of inside ski lift, I might try one down next time. The conditions were a little bit slushy today, so you couldn't really get a full gauge. Um, the sled was pushing a little bit more than normal. It would have it would have had more bite on a cold day, and that's really when the uh, inside ski lift comes into play. But when I softened up the suspension, the two clicks, there was absolutely zero ski lift, except for like the occasional, you know, maybe like off camber type turn. So that's what I've found so far. Um, I do plan to keep working on it and keep trying to adjust it. Now obviously that's not the ski itself, it's the sled that I put the skis on. So in my opinion, the CNA Razor does exactly what I want. had a lot of different skis and I've never felt any of those other skis really hit the nail on the head with what I was looking for. The Pilot 5.7 with the right side of carbides I thought was a pretty good ski. The DS Pilot that came uh, or that I got on my 800 because I wanted to start playing in the deep powder a little bit more which I did do back then by the way. Um, that ski was not good on trail at all. Not that I expected it to be, but I thought it would be okay, and it just really didn't perform whatsoever. And then the Pro Steers, like I said, I wasn't a big fan of. But the CNAs are a very aggressive ski. With the right carbide, they can just, they, they outperform anything I've experienced. And I wouldn't change a thing other than the width. For the sled that I got, I would have ended up getting XCSs, I think. Um, but as long as you're not worried about steering effort, I think you're going to be fine. I don't think that they're difficult to steer. I just think that they're not as easy as a set of trail skis. Why not? Well, maybe when I took my goggles off. It went up there, so yeah. it wasn't plugged in on top of it.
There's cops. <laughs> yep. Everybody still have their red stickers? Good, 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 good. All right, let's go uh, tempt the fates. Which time? This one over here was the best one. It was working. It was the best one. 